Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick video here and talk about a comparison between the frog's digestive system and the human's digestive system. Um, I can't remember if I've done this already, uh, but I just kind of go over everything with you. And then I think I've just basically, basically touched on it. And then after this, you should probably definitely go and um, just review the human body system notes, do the quizzes game. Make sure you're on the same kind of page. We'll do a test on the human body tomorrow. So make sure you go through. If you want to review old videos of mine on YouTube, they're all there. Or on Classroom, you can get them as well, right? So, you know, um, dissection of the frog, you guys won't be able to do, which is super unfortunate because there's no, like, substitute for, you know, cutting through uh, skin. It does not cut like paper does. And so when you think about someone who gets into nursing or surgery or doctors, like it, it definitely takes some practice in order to, to cut through flesh and skin and muscle in a way that's very clean and precise. And it takes practice to do that. And this is the start of that, like getting that experience starts right here in seventh grade. And you can't really like do that online and you can't do that with a piece of paper. So uh, it just cuts differently than paper. It's not the same stuff. Um, so it's not really unfortunate you guys haven't been able to do it. We use scissors when we you do our dissecting, dissection, um, like many people do. We don't really use a scalpel or razor blade, um, but you know, if you want to see what we do, I'll, I'll kind of link that YouTube video on this classroom site as well. But anyway, let's talk about the, the frog versus the human here. What you have to understand first is the frog is a um, carnivore as an adult. So its digestive system is pretty short compared to a human, which is an omnivore. We'll talk about what those mean here next in the next week or so. But what you can notice is that it does have all the same organs in the same spot. And that's pretty amazing. So I'm not going to walk you through all of them. Um, but what you have to remember is because a frog's a carnivore, and I talked about this last week, its digestive tract is short. And then because we're an omnivore, we eat a lot of plant vegetable matter, our digestive system is longer. If we were an herbivore, if we were something that ate nothing but veggies, uh, our digestive system would be much longer and our, you know, abdomens, our stomachs would look a lot bigger like the, you know, like the stomach of a cow or a rhino or a koala. They all have these big pot belly type stomachs because their intestines are so big. Uh, I, if you haven't got anything from me before, like I, I do really think frogs are super cool. So the baby frog, a tadpole is not a carnivore. It's the exact opposite. It's a herbivore. So, so tadpoles mostly eat algae and plants. And the whole head of a tadpole is digestive system. And we see this in some of the tadpoles that have smaller, thin enough skin that like so much of the main tadpoles, big part of their body is nothing but small intestine to absorb nutrients. And that's pretty amazing. I mean, there, yes, there is a big long tail that's got muscle that allows them to swim, but the main part of their body, I mean, Look in the mouth, you're looking at a little stomach here, and then we got intestine. Like most of the thing that is a tadpole is intestine, and that is just really cool, right? Um, and, and why is that neat for frog? Well, I mean, talk about changing lifestyle. You go from something that's totally aquatic to something that can be totally land based. Um, you go from a total vegetarian to a total carnivore, and it requires the whole internal body and structure and everything to change and that metamorphosis is just so neat but um let's get back to like what we're looking at comparing humans to to frogs frogs do have a relatively short esophagus it runs right here underneath this liver and um, it connects right here to the stomach and if you notice the stomach is kind of in the chest area of the frog right underneath the arm and it's on the the left side of their body that's where yours is. The esophagus comes down, your arms would stick off. It's on the left side of your body, kind of like in your ribs and your, like near your chest. Okay. And then it connects to the small intestine, kind of in the middle of the body, underneath where the liver would be, and more towards the central part of your body, almost facing right. And that is the same thing that happens with you. Your stomach kind of turns into the small intestine in the same spot. 
Now our small intestine is really long. It runs through the middle of our abdomen and theirs is much shorter because they're a carnivore, but it does run through the middle and then it connects to their large intestine, which is this bigger tube down here. And so does ours. So ours connects to the large intestine. Our large intestine is much, much, much longer. And you have to remember why. So a frog's large intestine is very short. You have to think about what the large intestine does. Its function is absorbing water. Where does a frog usually live? In water, right? So does it need to really worry about absorbing, reabsorbing water in its food? Can it always just get more, right? So it doesn't need a large or a long large intestine. It doesn't care if its poop is really runny. It's sitting in water. It gets it all the time. You and I do not sit in water all the time. Sometimes that is limiting to us and we do need to absorb it back into our digestive system, back into our blood and back into our cells. If we don't, we dehydrate and we die. So um, ours is much longer because we're more of a land animal than them. I'm just throwing in some other organs here. Here's the trachea and the two lungs there up top. You'll actually notice that they are here too. You can't see the trachea behind the liver, but the two lungs are in the same spot as they are in human beings. The heart of the frog actually sits right in the same spot too. They have that cut out here or it's, it's a little bit out of place, but it's right kind of, you know, center between the two shoulders. You can't see it in this particular picture. Um, the pancreas sits on the next to the stomach and the small intestine in between the stomach and the small intestine. And for us, it sits on the low side. If you notice with the frog, it's actually above the curve in the stomach, but it still sits between the stomach and the small intestine. So it's right in the middle, just like it is with you and I. Now our liver is on the, on the left side, of, or sorry, on the right side of our body, and the gallbladder is connected to it as well. And the frog's liver is a little bit different. So a frog's liver kind of covers the whole top part of their body, but they do have the gallbladder still attached to it. So all that stuff is in this is, is the same, and most all of it's in the same spot. It's, it's modified, it's different because we are different things, but they have all the same organs doing the same functions and in the same locations, which is really, really kind of cool. Um, that's kind of the comparison. I mean, the other big difference I think noticeably is in the liver. We have a two-lobed liver. There's two like pieces to it. And the frogs have a three-lobed liver, so they say they have a left lobe. You can see it like right there. They have a center lobe, or it's median, means middle. And then they also have a right-lobed liver right here. So they have three lobes to their liver. We have two. And honestly, just like cutting open a human, that is the biggest organ you're going to see front and center right away. It looks small in this picture, but the liver would cover most of your chest and abdomen area. And then it's the same thing with the frog. When we cut the frog open, the liver is like the, the thing that we see. So, you know, in comparison to size and everything, that is also the same between frogs and humans as well. So, I mean, really, it's all the same stuff in the same spot, slightly modified, um, which is pretty cool considering these guys live a totally different life than we do. Total carnivores living in water all the time, but... Um, you know, our ancestors had this stuff, they have it, and so do we. So, pretty cool. Just thought I'd uh, do a little comparison. Check out the dissection on YouTube if you feel like it. I think it's um, Miss Detman and Miss Beninsky from Olson Middle School, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they walk you through the dissection of it. So, you're welcome to watch it. You do not have to. Don't feel like you need to. Uh, and definitely spend the rest of this time going through the quizzes game and reviewing. Good luck, guys.